So, as a professional videographer, for me it's very important to have a good tripod because I do have expensive equipment and I don't want to put it on a very cheap tripod or actually it can be kind of cheap but I don't want to put it on a tripod which is going to fall down and my camera will be destroyed. So, I was thinking which one to buy. This is actually a photographer's tripod because it doesn't have the handle that you can use for filming so if you can see boom let me unfold this so if you can see the head actually it's no handle for video so this is more of a photographer's tripod however I'm a videographer, so first of all, this hat can be removed like this very easily and I can buy a video hat to it and then I can put it on here, so it's actually not a problem really. Uh, so of course another investment a little bit, but it's always good to have both options because photographers photographers head is much more stable so that's why I don't mind using this of course it depends on the shoot but if I want to use this tripod as for my streaming for my steady shots still shots from different kind of perspective I'm going to use this tripod 100% so it is called K and F, F, not KFC, K and F, Concept 72, is it inches or whatever, overhead tripod, monopod, aluminium, video tripod, blah, 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 360 degree ball head. Yes, this ball head is very cool. Um, I'm going to demonstrate, but why this tripod stole my heart? It's cost 102.99 pounds. It's the material is great. I don't think this is gonna be like destroyed very soon and it's actually not that heavy at all so I can travel with it anywhere. Um, so I'm very happy about this. And yeah, it's pretty like sturdy, you know, it's really like hard. So I don't think it's going to be destroyed very quickly, which is fine, especially if you wanna go out and film outside in the nature or more action shots and so on. So let me just show you how this works. Um, one of the main reasons why I bought it is to use it for my streaming and YouTube videos, yes. But I also do some reviews and unboxing videos and what I needed is overhead tripod. And the one that can carry my Canon 5D Mark IV with 24 to 105 millimeter lens, which is pretty big and it's pretty heavy. And I thought, okay, um, if I'm going to buy a tripod for 50 pounds or whatever, this is not gonna cut it. This is not gonna hold it. And my very expensive camera will go to the toilet. So I needed to kind of invest, even though 100 pounds is not much for tripod, let's say, but it's not like you can buy a lot of uh, cheaper ones but you know it depends like what you wanna what you wanna put on it really so very important feature is the overhead but let me just demonstrate some stuff that you can do with it so um, the height of this tripod is incredible so it says here on Amazon uh, it's two meter high so yes that's pretty sure thing because I tried it I don't know exactly but it's very very high you can go very high with it um, but you can, it says you can put 10 kilos on it which I don't think you should 10 kilos is way too much like guys I mean maybe well, I don't know really. I mean, maybe it can hold up 10 kilos in this kind of position. But otherwise, when you do weird things in it, 
with it, you know, like different angles, I wouldn't put 10 kilos on it. But if you have like DSLR like me, I think it's um, with some more or less, I think my equipment, my camera weights around two and a half kilos maybe. And it does well. So let me show you. Basically, it's like that. Okay, so if you turn this, you unfold the legs, which are very high, as you can see. But what I want to show you, this is like the obvious. So this is the obvious, right? But let me show you how you can turn this and get a completely new perspective, either for photography or videography. So we turn this around. We turn this upside down. Whoa. <laughs> so now you can put your camera here and you can be so close to the actual ground. It's amazing. So for videography or photography, this kind of feature is great. So you can literally turn this upside down. It's so cool. So, so cool. Mm -hmm. Let's let me go back. Right. So the most important for me is this overhead feature. Uh -huh. So let me just do this so we can see it clearly. Just going to unfold this leg and this leg. So very important feature here. You do this. Check this out. This is why I bought this 100%. Whoa! Oh man, oh man. Oh man, you can also do this. This is so cool. So you can go 360, of course. Um, you can do overhead, so you can go all the way here, which is like not recommended for. Uh, from the manufacturer, so they say like, oh, you shouldn't do that. So you should always have like a gap um, So like a counterweight so your camera holds on But I have to say because I wanted this arm to be really extended So I did go all the way and just make sure that you have the counterweight with your legs So just lean it backwards so you counter position your tripod so you have counterweight with your camera so we can extend all the way so here I can put my camera over my table overhead and it's pretty far away from the actual legs so I don't they're not gonna be in my shot and of course you can move this around and of course this ball Mm, not this one, this one. So you can have it here, or you can have it here, or you can have it however you want. So this is so cool. So I did place. It doesn't, you know, like when I first unfold it, I was like, is this gonna hold? Because this bubble head. Um, it's pretty like um, it's not like it doesn't look that 100% reliable if you put heavy camera on it but it actually holds amazingly and I can use it for overhead videos cooking recipes I can use it for unboxing videos um, it's pretty cool and I can go so high with it that I can actually have overhead shot from like two meters, you know Just make sure you weight it cro uh, 
properly and correctly otherwise this is gonna fall so you need to make sure maybe you can put another tripod here so here this goes like that and if you put another tripod here just to make sure this is not gonna fall so you're gonna have your head your legs there of course um, but you can put like a monopod even but if we do this you know if you don't need to be such so extended then you can just put this like this right so this is some kind of counterweight and you can put something on it as well but it also holds all the way here let me tell you that which also surprised me but it's great um, I'm very I'm very happy about it so this is really really cool tripod and this feature I just love it I just love this feature it's very flexible you can switch you can switch the head for video head or whatever and overall it's very tough and it's gonna hold and it's gonna do everything that I wanted to do so I definitely recommend this tripod a hundred pounds not not that bad for a very good tripod that's going to last um, and let me show you the bag because I love this bag it's so cool um, so the bag looks like this right so you can take it um, this way or you can put it over your shoulder and it's very like the material is very good, so even if it's wet, this is not gonna go all the way wet. Um, and also sometimes you have it on the shoulder and you hit something, so... This is going to make sure that everything is okay with it. So... I would definitely recommend this tripod. 100%. Um, no problems with it, it holds my camera amazingly. Um, so as I said, I have Canon 5D Mark IV, 24, 205 millimeter, which is pretty heavy stuff, right? So um, if you have any questions about this tripod, let me know in the comments. I will answer all of them. Um, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for cool videos like this. I'm gonna reviewing. I'm reviewing actually a lot of stuff that I buy um, in terms of audio, video, and computers. And you can also follow me on Twitch. I'm actually right now I'm live streaming, so it's pretty cool, right? Um, so you might want to check out my Twitch as well. So thank you for your attention. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.